Well, hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got this gel-like light pink poly gel. I was sent this for review and um, I will leave links down below. Um, I know this is all over YouTube. I mean, there's just a lot of this going on. And my interest in this product was the fact that, you know, I do nail art and have a channel and even if I didn't, you know, occasionally we break a nail and we don't want to shorten all the rest of them back. So I thought this would be a really great product to have, um, you know, to where you could, you know, put on an extension and, um, you know, overlay or whatever and carry on, you know, until that that one grew out and caught up. So I have this gel like, and I, like I said, I got the light pink, and um, it came with this beautiful little brush, you know, and the spatula on the end, and it's got the little cap, and the, you know, little cap to save the brush. I'm going to set those aside, and today I'll be using these, the, these little um, nail forms or poppets, as some people call them, um, that I got at Sally's. Now, I've got, I've ordered some different ones because these, these are not, like, really good size fitting for me. So, um, I mean, there were a bunch of sizes in here to play with, but, you know, it's, it's difficult when you've got, you know, wonky little shaped nails. Not everybody's nails are shaped like the same. So, anywho, um, so we're going to just hop on in. I've already picked out a nail, uh, to put on the one that I'm demoing for y'all. I have already been playing and I will let you know that there is a huge learning curve with this. Um, these are so not perfect. I'm going to end up doing the ring finger on camera for you. Um, the thumb I did first, it's rather thin over on this side. Um, you can totally see my nail through it, but you would paint over it. I've got rather a large gap back here. Um, but as far as the thickness and everything, I think it did okay. Um, then we head to the second nail I did, which is this one. Uh, the form that I had, the poppet did not fit very well, um, so it's a little wonky looking. But my biggest complaint about this one is, is look how thick that is. Insane thick. Ridiculous thick. Um, but, you know. It is what it is. And then the next one got a little better. I've got some scratches or cracks or something. Um, I tried to file up here around my cuticle, and so it's a little buffed up looking. But I've got a huge gap there. Um, so, but that one wasn't as thick as the, you know, this one. So, you know, there there is some learning with that. Now, the pinky was the last one I did. Uh, the the form fit it rather well. It um, it you know the shape of it. It went side to side perfectly fine. It is a little thick, but like I said, this is a learning experience for sure. Um, one thing I do love about the poly gel is how easy it is to file back um, and shape. You know, once once I get poppets that fit better, maybe we'll be able to you know move on. Now. This has a squeeze tube on the end of it, but you know, with me having rheumatoid arthritis and weak little hands, I can't, I can't get it to squeeze out that tube. So I'm just screwing the cap off, and I've got a little dampened dish with some 91% alcohol. I'm gonna squeeze out a little. Well, I'm get my stuff ready. I'm gonna squeeze out a little, little bead of this, so that I can show you how I did this. Now, like I said, there are tons of and that's about the size I'm going to do. Tons of other videos out there. Um, but I wanted to show you what I'm doing. You know, I did dip my little spatula down into that alcohol. Um, this, because this is some sticky stuff. And now, on these dual forms, this is the end that's going to go around my cuticle. So I'm going to slide that into there. Oh, and there's a little piece of black something in there. I don't want that. Let's get that off of there. And I'm going to re-dip this down in here and just kind of pat it down into that channel just a little bit. And I've probably got way too much product on there, but like I said, this is a learning curve. This is just how you would be doing it at your house. Um, 
and hopefully as I play with the stuff some more it will get better and better. So I am keeping my brush dampened with that. I don't want it floating in the alcohol but I definitely want it wet um, because I've watched other videos where I mean that this stuff just gets so sticky you can't work with it. But I'm tapping it down in there trying to run it up the sidewalls making sure to keep it neat back here where I'm going to have the cuticle line um, when I push it down onto my nail. And you're just going to want to, you know, keep working it because you're not in a rush. It's not curing until you put it under the lamp. So you just keep, you know, working it. Um, this is my very, very first experience with this product. <laughs> so you were getting some real... Um, impressions here. Some real first impressions. Now, I, of course I did these off camera because I, I needed a little experience um, to see if there was anything that I was going to be able to pick up on that was going to, you know, make it easier than, than all that. Okay. So we are done with that. I am going to get my little paper towel over here because the next step is applying it to the nail and I'm going to push it down and then slide it back to my cuticle and you can see some of that product has hopped out of there and you do not want to cure that but I'm wanting to make sure it's secure there pretty good and then I'm going to go in with my 91% alcohol and do some cleanup some got to get some cleanup done here do not want to cure that onto my fingers. Now, to do these, you would prep these like you would if you were doing a gel manicure or a regular manicure. You would want to get the nail bed very, very clean. No oils, no lotions, or anything. If you want to, want these to, you know, last, you know, to have some durability. Me. I, I knew that this was my first time doing these and they probably would not be lasting and be in being durable and I'm having to reposition that because it did slide around a little bit which meant more product has oozed out I'm gonna clean that up too um, but I used a peel off base coat I saw Guileen 325 do that um, and I decided for my first go that's that's exactly what I wanted to do um, and we will we will see how how this works now I've got it it seems like it's pretty much down now you are going to want to flip your nail over and you can see there's like blobs of it now you could just totally let that be but I'm, I'm so not um, I'm going to go in and try to straighten this up because you can, like I said, this product files very, very easily. You could totally, you know, go back later and just file off whatever excess you have. I'll lay this nail down so I can kind of thin that out some. And it looks pretty good under there. And now I'm going to go back to the front again because I've been messing with it. I'm just going to run around real quick just to make sure nothing else snuck out while we were flipped over. Okay. Alrighty. Alright, so I'm going to cure this for one minute like this under my LED lamp. And then I'm going to flip my fingers over and then cure it for another one minute. And I will come back and we'll pop this rascal off and I'll show you what I got. Okay, I have cured it for two minutes, you know, one minute on each side, and I'm just going to kind of squeeze it and kind of start wiggling it around, get it to pop off, just like that. And these are reusable, so that one back in the box. And I love that the top is all smooth, so you don't have to worry about, you know, buffing that out or anything. So I'm going to use my fat file, as you can tell I've already been using it, and I want to show you just how easily this stuff files down. It's just really, really easy to file that down and get it, you know, shaped the way you want it.
and like I said, this is my first go with these. That one ended up rather thick too, and it's a little popped off the side over here. Um, but you've got to play with stuff to get good at it, and so I'm going to have to do a lot more playing with this, and hopefully the next time I come show you guys, I might have some, you know, maybe better tips and tricks and and stuff like that to share. But you just file it down and then I'm going to flip it over and do some like smoothing. So mine are definitely not perfect. In fact, they're, they're quite hideous. But um, <laughs> that's okay. That's how we learn. We, we have to try things and, and practice at them to get good so um we're gonna we're gonna call this okay i mean really i do i do think that for the first time that this was an okay venture and um i really do like the product i think that i think that this is really groundbreaking you know instead of gel nails or acrylic nails now you've got this this morphed baby here that's like the, the, like the child of them too. So that's it for my demo for this first try at this. I want to thank you for watching and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.